Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create automated sales invoice in Zoho Books for new Shopify order. I want that whenever a new order is placed on my Shopify account, automatically by using the same order details, a new invoice should be created for the same order in Zoho Books. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate Shopify with Zoho Books and to do the same we are going to use Public Connect in order to connect both of them. Now what we are going to do, we have Shopify in our trigger and Zoho Books in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Public Connect in such a way that whenever a new order will be placed in Shopify, first the customer will get searched in Zoho Books for the same order and after that if that particular customer will be an existing customer of Zoho Books, automatically a new sales invoice will be created. Now to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new order will be placed in Shopify for a particular product, automatically by using the same order details, a new invoice should be created for the same order in Zoho Books also. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pably.com slash connect. When we do that, we will come on the landing page of the software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. After coming on all app section, we can find all the products offered by Pably. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pably Connect. So let's click on access now. And this will take us towards the dashboard of Pably Connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we have created on this dashboard. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And here we can find a dialog box is appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name as create Zoho books invoice for Shopify orders. Okay, so after giving the name, let's click on create. And we can find two windows will be open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts or the basic principles on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, trigger is the very first step of every workflow and it, and it initiates the entire workflow. Therefore, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is always the response towards the trigger. So in this workflow, we are going to take Shopify in our trigger and Zoho Books in our action. And we want that whenever a new order will be placed for a particular product in Shopify, the response should be captured here. And immediately after that, a new invoice should be created in Zoho Books for the same product. So this is the concept of trigger and action. Now let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application, which is Shopify. So let's select it. And now in our trigger event, we have to select new order because we want that whenever a new order will be placed, then the response should be captured here in Pably Connect. So we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect our Shopify account with Pably Connect. So first of all, let's copy this webhook URL from here and then I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So let me take you to my Shopify account. And here after coming on this account, we have to go on the settings section from the left side. And after coming on settings, we have to find notifications from the left side. After coming on notifications, we have to scroll until we will find the option of webhook. So let us scroll down and and here we can find the webhook option. So several webhooks are already existed here for different workflows. Now to create a new webhook, we have to click on this create webhook button and we have to enter the details. So first of all, let us select the event. So we want that whenever a new order will be placed here in Shopify, then the response should be captured in Pably Connect. So for that, we have to select order created in this event. Okay, so order creation and the format will be JSON. Let us enter the webhook URL, which we have copied from Pably Connect here in this field. And in the webhook API version, we have to select the latest version. So this is the latest. Click on save. So our webhook is saved successfully. Now we will go back on Pably Connect and here we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means now we have to do a test submission by making a test payment for purchasing a product in Shopify. Okay, so how we are going to do that? First of all, I will open the link of products in Shopify in a new tab. So this is my Shopify store and here are the products which we can purchase. Okay, so let us purchase this herbal face mask. Let us open it. The product is open. Now we will simply click on buy it now. 
and we can find that the checkout page for this herbal mask is open and we have to enter the details one by one here in, in this checkout page in order to make the payment so first of all let us enter the email so i am going to enter dummy details over here just in order to capture the response first of all let's enter email demo 100 at the rate publicutes.com now we will enter the billing address so the country is already selected as india we will enter the first name as demo and for the last name we will enter customer okay address let us enter a random address so i have entered a random address here now we will enter the city state and a pin code let us also enter a dummy mobile number done click on continue to payment and here our details are recorded now we have to make the payment so because i am making a dummy purchase therefore i will use dummy card details here for making the payment so first of all let me enter a dummy card number name on the card will be demo customer i will enter a random expiry date and a random security code click on pay now So my order is placed. Now I will again go on Public Connect and let us refresh this page once. And the response is received along with all the details of the product which we have purchased, the name of the product that is herbal mass, amount and the details of the customer. Okay, so address, first name, last name, email and the contact number. So these are the details of the customer and the product which we have purchased from Shopify okay so because we have received the response now by using the response we are going to create a new invoice in Zoho books for the same product okay so for that what we are supposed to do first of all we will have to search whether this particular customer already exists in Zoho books or not because if the person will be an existing customer in Zoho books then only we want to create an invoice otherwise not so for that what we are going to do we will select our action application as Zoho books and in our action event we will select find customer click on connect and now we will select add new connection in order to connect our zoho book account with public connect click on connect with zoho books it is asking us for the domain name so from where we are going to find that we will go on our zoho books account and from the top url we can find that my domain here is zoho.com so i will just copy it and exactly the same i'm going to paste it here okay so you in, so in the same manner you have to enter your domain click on save and now public connect is asking us for the permission to access our zoho books account so let's click on accept and with this our authorization is successful and our zoho books account is successfully connected with public connect now let's move further and we have to enter the two details here organization name and the search text so in the search text we have to enter a unique detail of the customer through which we want to find him so i am going to use the email which we have received from shopify response let us search for email and we, i have mapped it so i want to use email for searching the customer in zoho books okay so why i have mapped this detail instead of entering it manually because i want that whenever a new response will be captured in public connect through shopify order automatically this field of email should be replaced with a new email with a new data of a new customer but if instead i will enter this email manually instead of mapping then it will become static and it will not change with every new response then the workflow will get stuck okay so therefore mapping is very important step of this automation now after mapping the email we have to enter the organization so here i will go again on my zoho books account from the right side we will select our organization and i have three organization here of which i want to create invoice in this pably book organization so i will select this in pably connect pably books and we will simply click on save and send test request and with this, we have received the response along with the contact ID. That means this particular customer does exist in our Zoho books also. Now what we want, we want that if the customer exists in Zoho books, then we want to create a new invoice. Okay. So for that, we want to apply a condition that only if the customer will be an existing customer in Zoho books, then only the invoice should be created. Otherwise not. So for that, we will add one more action step here by clicking on this plus sign and here and this time we will apply filter which is a feature by pably 
and the filter allows us to apply conditions for our workflow. So here I want to use a condition that only if this particular contact ID will exist. So we will use the filter type as exist. Then only the workflow should continue further. Otherwise not. Okay. So here I have selected the contact ID which I have received from Zoho Books and I have mapped it. Now every time a new ID will be received through Zoho Books automatically it will be mapped here and if that ID will exist in Zoho Books then only this workflow will continue. Okay, so let's click on save and send test request and we can find that our condition is true because this ID already exists in Zoho Books. Okay, now we will move further and by clicking on this plus sign we will add one more action step which is going to be our final action step. Now we want to create invoice in Zoho Books for the order which is created in Shopify. Okay, so let's again select our action application as Zoho Books and in our action event we will select create sales invoice. Click on connect and we will go with the existing connection because we have already built a connection with Zoho Books earlier. Click on save. And our Soho Books account is again connected with Tabli Connect. Now we again have to enter the details which it is asking. So first of all, it is asking us for organization. So let us select the organization as Tabli Book. And here we have to enter the customer. That means the customer ID. So we want to enter unique customer ID for each and every customer. For that, we will turn this mapping button on so that we can map the data by using our previous response because we have already received the customer ID from Zoho Books find customer response. So we will just delete this existing data and we will map this contact ID which we have received from Zoho Books response. So, so because we have used mapping here in this step, so now every time a new customer will purchase anything in Shopify, then automatically first the customer will get search in Zoho Books and if that person will be an existing customer of Zoho Books, automatically this ID will be replaced with the new contact ID of the new customer. Okay, now let's move on and it is asking us ignore auto number generation so you can you can select it according to your choice. I have selected it as false and some of the details are optional here so I am ignoring them for now. You can definitely add them according to your workflow requirements. The next is invoice date. So we have received the date of the order from Shopify response let us search but in the different format okay and because we have to enter the date in this particular format that is only the year month and date therefore we have to use one more action step here in between by adding this plus sign that will be date time formatter because we need to format the date which we have received in the wrong format okay so let us select date time formatter which is a feature by Pabli it allows us to format the date according to the requirements of our workflow and here in the action event we will select format date only because we only want the date click on connect and now we have to enter the date which we want to format so we have received the date of the order as this so we have mapped it and the next is from format and the to format so we have to enter the format from which we want to change the date basically the format in which we have received the date so so we have received the date in this particular format year month date hour minute and second okay so let us select it and in the to format we have to select the format in which we want the new date okay so we want the date only in this format year month and date done click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the required date okay so we will use this particular response in order to map the date here in the invoice date so before that first of all we have to again build a connection with zoho books because we have added one more action step in between so let us click on connect and we will go with the existing connection only and we can find that our zoho books account is again connected with Pabli connect so here again we have to map the customer ID. Let us again turn this mapping button on. We will delete the existing data and we will map the customer ID which we have received through Zoho Books response. Done. Now we will enter the invoice date by using date time formatter response. So this is our date and the next is payment terms, payment term label, discount and the field of exchange rate is mandatory. So I'm going with the default number only that is one and directly I will move towards list item name. So basically we have to map the name of the product which is purchased. So we will use the Shopify response 
so this is the name of the product that is herbal mask so we have mapped it we can even enter the description if we have received but i have not received any description of this product so i am ignoring it for now line item rate so we have to enter the rate of the product let's search for the amount and this is the total amount okay so we have mapped it 100 rupees quantity let us search for the quantity also so the quantity is one and i think this much detail is okay for creating a new invoice so i will simply click on save and send test request and here we have received the response along with the invoice id and the message that the invoice has been created so we will go on our zoho books and we will check for the invoice so the invoice is created under invoice section let us refresh this page once and a new invoice is created over here for the abc company which is the customer name let us open this invoice and check and yes the invoice is successfully created along with all the order details of herbal mask okay so here it is written name and description of the product herbal mask date of the invoice quantity rate and amount so so this means our workflow is perfectly successful now we will go back on public connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow so we have taken five steps here trigger and four action in trigger we have taken shopify and in action we have taken zoho books filter by pably date time formatter by pably and zoho books again and we have connected all of them by using pably connect in such of a that now whenever a new order will be placed for a particular product in shopify automatically automatically first the customer will get search in zoho books and if that person will be an existing customer of zoho automatically a sales invoice will be created for the same order in zoho books also okay so in order to format the date we have also applied date time formatter by pably so these are the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate all these applications now in case you want to send this particular invoice to your customers then you can also apply one more action step here that is gmail or any other application through which you want to send the invoice okay now this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the redpably.com. If you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.